one level every country is very different and has very different needs different perspectives but at another level when you look at low income segments actually the needs aren't that very different so there are learnings that can be taken not in an absolute sense that you basically pick up here and drop there but at least at a at a programmatic level we can take learnings and move to another market the way we have done it is uh, on the government and social impact side on in food in fertilizer how do we ensure that the learnings both the good and the bad from india are taken to other geographies which are now on similar path and would like to digitize uh, social transfers similarly when it comes to work around uh, let's say fintechs the experience that we have here in india we are trying to see how best could it be leveraged in let's say bangladesh or in vietnam to try and and support fintechs in those markets to be able to serve the low and middle income segment the growth of fintech across the globe is is sort of phenomenal and we we, we totally believe that it is going to be really really impactful in terms of cross country experience we obviously have teams working in more than 50 countries um this means that when we move from assignment to assignment from country to country we bring in experience from many different countries so how we uh, bring more and more of this experience to bear is we share information amongst our teams in terms of practical approaches in of how to do things so for example if we're specializing in deposit mobilization then we will have people within the uh, microsave team maybe in africa who specialize in deposit mobilization that possibly can help people in asia to plan and think through their assignments in deposit mobilization so if we can also bring people from the asia office who are perhaps very experienced in government to person payments to government to person payments across in in africa so the ability to move people around is very very important the ability to share knowledge and approaches is very very important because we have roots in so many countries we have offices in indonesia philippines vietnam uh, india obviously we have representation in bangladesh a similar pattern in um, uh, africa where we have offices in both nairobi kampala and senegal this means that we can bring skill sets and experience from a wide variety of countries and operating environments um to bear on specific questions and this is really important um because it allows not only the transfer of skills but also of knowledge and ability into different markets so by way of example our expertise on government subsidies in india allowed us not only to run study tours for the indonesian government into india but also to then working with our indonesian team have our india team uh, help advise the ministry in india on how to optimize uh, benefit transfer in indonesia itself inherent in the dna of microsave is collaboration uh, across uh, geographies so we are a global consultant with the local touch uh, we leverage that through cross country teams through sharing our knowledge and experience making sure that we are able to bring the learnings from other geographies and at the same time tailor and customize them for the local needs so uh, this is integral to the way we operate and we continue to evolve Microsave is a diverse organization in terms of the geographies that we are serving and the institutions that we are serving. As part of the diversity in geographies that we are serving, what happens that while the context uh, for for a country differs to that of another country, there are some innovations that may be locally present, which has the implication of taking to another geography and utilizing it there. we have seen that this kind of cross country experience coupled together with cross fertilization and contextualization of ideas has helped some of the institutions to grow uh, the biggest strength of microsave is uh, one the cross uh, uh, country or the global experience i think but more than that we bring in experience from the ground from the grassroots 
and our approach never allows us to replicate experience or uh, you know to be customized experience but to actually recreate uh, you know all the experiences from the ground which is very specific to a particular country for a particular uh, you know customer so we leverage this global experience but still we remain local in terms of the solutioning in terms of the services we provide and that's how you know we are we have kept us relevant since we know that microsave has worked in a uh, uh, couple of continents and multiple countries so that allows microsave to experiment and learn from what's happening in those markets it's it's a typical phenomena that some of the markets or some of the countries uh, they start the experiment but it not necessary that they do remain those of them they remain contained in those countries it moves from one country to another country and that is what microsave has done so it has picked up fantastic experiment which were done in for example in uh, africa particularly in kenya where in agency banking has been used extensively some of those learnings after tailoring them for particular countries for example in india it has been deployed and it has really yielded some successful results and it will continue to do so in near future that is that is how it uh, it, it is able to manage the knowledge which is there in one country or one continent and take it to another country 